91.1 WSBN Skidmore College Radio. You're hanging out with George Burns and the Metal Pig. And right now, we're hanging out with Jason from Cauldron. Hey, how are you? <laughs> What's up? And how are you now? All right. Uh, awesome. So, uh, this is. <laughs> so, uh, it's our third time seeing Cauldron. And uh, I'll have you know that you're sitting next to your hugest fan. Oh. I've been following you guys since forever. Thanks we've so been much. playing, yeah, we've been playing your stuff on a radio show since your first album, and uh, well, since the first Cauldron album, anyway. Because mm-hmm. um, I know you're you're dealing with Goat Horn and all that. Yeah. Um, so you have a new album coming out, or is it already we out? Do. It, it comes out Friday, so today is Thursday, so it comes out tomorrow. It comes out tomorrow. Awesome. Well, come on through, Toby. And uh, yeah, come on through. It's all good. So uh, this, 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 this gives the interview more character. Yeah, yeah. it's true because these guys are out on tour. These guys are out on tour with Enforcer. It's the bass player just cruising through. Anyhow, so yeah, your new album comes out tomorrow. In Rune comes out tomorrow, Friday, January eighth, All right. live. All right. What label are you guys on? Uh, we're on the End Records right now in America. All right. I just realized I had the mic upside down. Nice. All right. So. Uh, so you're going on this tour now, it's like 40 dates, and then you got anything else planned after that? Um, we do, but nothing's confirmed at the moment. Oh, so, really? Um, so it's, okay. It'll, it'll be coming up. All right. Awesome. And so um, I see that Chris, your other drummer, Our is now, drummer. yeah, which he was replaced, he was replaced someone else too, right? Uh, yeah, we just go, go through the drummers. Like, <laughs> I guess so, like Spinal Tap. <laughs> yeah, but we've had, uh, I mean, Chris Chris left the band in 2011. Okay. And uh, we've had, there he is, right over there. There he is. Slim. <laughs> um, we've had Miles, Miles Deck now for almost four years. And, oh, okay. Uh, he's, he's been our longest running drummer. So. Oh, okay. Awesome. And so he's on the new album? Miles is on the new album. Okay, awesome. And what's the album called again? In Ruin. In Ruin. Okay. Awesome. And so, uh, what would you say you guys are major influences? Why did you ask about the Rush song anyway, too? Oh, I just like to get the see if there's any Rush fans in the house and and get them going, and then not play a Rush song. Okay. <laughs> does does it have anything to do with being a Canadian three piece? Uh, yeah, it does. I mean, we're we're huge Rush fans, and I mean that's not the only three piece. There's also Motorhead. Triumph, right? Triumph, Motorhead. But they um, weren't Canadian. Raven. No, Speaking of you, Canadian, you don't have to be Canadian, but uh, notable three-piece <laughs> well, Canadian just saying, bands. Yeah, yes, exactly. Here we go. Who else we got? Be, uh, Voivod. Were they at one point a three-piece? <laughs> uh, they were in the nineties. Yeah. yeah okay. There you course. go. So, um, and they. No means no. No means no. The punk band. Yes. Yeah, of course. Uh, were they? Were they? A I think so. They're like two brothers and a, drum, and a random drummer dude. Um, who else? There's got to be more three-piece Canadians. Oh, there's a thousand. Yeah, when I found out these guys are from Canada, I was like, ah, Exciter. it makes sense. Exciter. Exciter. There you go. Exciter's I was like, it makes sense. Planet. They're a three-piece. They're from Canada. It just they would, you couldn't have it any other way. Well, yeah. anyhow. So now you're a part of that legion. Yeah, well, we're, we're the three-piece. We're the, more on the dangerous side when, when you're a three-piece because you just yeah. have that one less guitar to, yes. to, to fall back on and uh, it, it leaves everything a little bit more open for us and um, yeah, more open to mistakes yeah. I and mean, we'd love to f*** up so yeah. and, I, and I notice um, you're Rickenbacker, is that what you're playing? a Rickenbacker? Uh, well it's it's a Rickenbacker copy, copy. It's, it's known as the Lawsuit Edition made by Ibanez oh, okay. and or Al Degas in the okay. late 70's and, oh okay uh, it, it sounds just as good, but but it doesn't cost as much. Okay, and that was if, if you can even find one. So that you said that was an an Iben an Iben had ha, no an Ibanez. 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 I know, yeah. I'm just kidding. That's just what I call Ibanez. Oh, Iben had. Iben had. You oh, like those that? Guys. Yeah, Iben had. <laughs> so anyhow, so that's a '70s copy that they got sued. I didn't. That's I was right. Wondering was that? I was like, I was that play, a new neck on I that thing? What's the story? No, okay. everything's the same. The only the okay. only difference I know of is the. Um, the truss rod. That, that's, <laughs> okay. That's, that gets pretty nerdy and boring. So I guess, yeah. Okay, so uh, anyway, that thing, you sounded almost like like Steve Albini, like Big Black with that. I was like, is this, is this bass messed up? I mean, what do you, what do you put, what kind of effects are you using? Well, I was that? using a different cabinet tonight, so it does sound a little bit more chunky. Oh, okay. Because there's a 15 in that SVT for okay. some reason. But I normally play in 8 
I've just walked by. Um, this is your second tour with these guys, Enforcer? Uh, no, this is probably our third or fourth tour oh, with okay. Enforcer. Yeah, we've, we've done the States on uh, one of our first tours, and um, we've done Europe a couple of times together as well. So yeah, I think this is our fourth tour okay. with Enforcer. You guys have a great compliment together. You guys actually like two of my favorite bands currently going, so I was really stoked. I was wanted to follow these guys like the Grateful Dead when I saw this tour came out. Like, oh man, this is ridiculous. So thanks for tour. taking out yeah, thanks for taking the time out and hanging out with us and it makes sense for us to tour with Enforcer. We're we're very like minded and uh, we get along very well. We're all friends and Yeah, definitely. We understand the heavy metal culture. Yes, definitely. I I say Cauldron and Enforcer are the two top metal bands out there today. You know this, we listen to Full Metal Racket, so uh, thanks for taking some time out with us, Jason. And oh, fucking A. And, uh, pleasure, uh, likewise. Keep listening to Full Metal Racket. Cauldron, it's a beautiful thing.